From his home in Fiji, he witnessed firsthand the destruction of Earth's oceans. Faced with the overwhelming question, what can one person do? He embraced the simple fact that he's not just one person. His organisation, Precious Plastic Fiji, has collected over 30 tonnes of plastic waste and redirected over 10 tonnes from landfills. In collaboration with UNICEF, he has helped teach more than 50,000 Fijian students about plastic waste and how to recycle. Please welcome climate champion and Global Citizen Youth Leader awardee, Rashid Roshanali. From the heart of Fiji, where the ocean's embrace shapes our essence, I stand proud. Our island heritage deeply intertwined with the vast Pacific. We are all connected by our oceans. This connection is a deeply personal one for the people of the Pacific. Communities make their homes by the sea, fishing and flourishing. They take from the ocean, but they also fiercely protect it. It's a delicate balance, a dance that has been perfected across generations. And this balance is now under threat. Our ocean's health is deteriorating, taking the lives and livelihoods of these communities with it. More than 65% of fish in Fiji waters now contain microplastics, poisoning the food we eat. Fiji's carbon and plastic footprint is minuscule, yet, as always, it is the most vulnerable communities that bear the brunt. I used to participate in ocean cleanup campaigns, big corporations fulfilling their corporate responsibilities by organizing trash pickups at the beach. But the plastic would just be sent to a landfill where it would sit for more than a thousand years. So we decided to try something different. We decided to change the way people view the problem. We used plastic waste to make unique artwork that thousands of people saw and which ended up changing the government policy. We successfully lobbied for a law to ban single-use plastic in Fiji, and we are supporting research on using plastic waste to create roads in Fiji. In my homeland, we have a really powerful concept called Vanua. In its simplest translation, Vanua means a place to come home to. But Vanua is also the values that we share. It is the land that we live on, and it is the ocean that gives us life. Tonight, I am wearing a symbol of unity. It's a reminder that no matter how small our actions, they have a global impact. We are all part of the same human family, connected to the same planet. And the preservation of our shared home begins with us. It begins here. It begins now. <laughs> 